all of a sudden people want to hear about me and Werner Heisenberg. It's not like I married the guy. So let's provide some clarity on that. This is an autobiography exercise that I entitled I am Tannis Corley Leonardo Sheher Hers of Seattle that I entitled Inspiration Sometimes Confuses Me. Then it was a limit of one page typed single font in Word document type dot doc Cambria body font size 12. Oh uh, no actually this one was Times New Roman. I I apologize. And Times New Roman. I, I don't have a lot of these that are a page or less. I went over my page limit a fair amount of the time. So this is one that does qualify for a page limit. And so I wrote it Saturday 27 October 2018. I'm filming this Saturday 8 June 2024. And it was typing day musings before the end of the day that day and I had a little inspiration sometimes confuses me. So this was kind of like a sequence of three entries and this was one of three and I've already done three of three. One from 6 January 2019 if I'm recalling correctly. And I'll link to my A Page in the Life of playlist and notes on autobiography slash biography playlist and then book slash reading notes playlist. This is technically reading notes because I'm reading. So the reading is the notes and then I'm providing context. Here we go. Inspiration sometimes confuses me. I suppose to me inspiration is when something or someone amazes me to the point where I want to do or make something in response. <clears throat> it makes me want to be better in some way. I suppose that I find this concept confusing because I was voted most inspirational in high school swimming and water polo and I still wonder what it was that my teammates found inspirational. I've struggled with inspiration in the sciences. I was innately interested in math as a kid and loved the abstraction. So saying someone inspired me isn't really correct. However, the sciences have been a more sparse area for personal inspiration. The one concept that I was taken by and the reason I chose to stay in the geosciences is that of the Brevi lattice. It combined linear algebra with crystallography to form descriptions of minerals formed in nature, which I thought was really cool. It is a dream of mine that one day I might create some new mathematics to describe a natural phenomenon. Other than the Brevi lattice, I was inspired by the entire field of quantum mechanics in my introductory modern physics class. At the time, I had a concussion, and for whatever reason, quantum mechanics was soothing and just clicked. It was something I intuitively understood and was good at. This was the first time I had felt inspired by a topic in physics. There was only one catch. I didn't know what in quantum mechanics was calling to me. For the several years, I assumed it was Werner Heisenberg as he created the matrix mechanics for much of quantum mechanics. Heisenberg developed these mechanics along with his advisor, Max Born. Last week in reading Statistical Mechanics of Elasticity for Group Meeting, Chapter 4, I came across a few citations for a 1954 publication by Born and Huang. I have returned to the question of whose work it is in quantum mechanics that inspires me. Since Born's work includes both research in quantum mechanics and lattice dynamics, I am curious if perhaps it 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 his work that inspires me. I realize this might all seem a bit strange, but my heart was always drawn to each of these topics and I feel that there is something or someone that may joint these two foundational interests of mine. I have ordered a couple books by Bourne to read through and see it potentially his work is the inspiration I've been sensing. I've gone through the research of several other quantum mechanics physicists and none of them seem to be quite right. Oh well, back into the fog of finding my inspiration, embracing, embracing uncertainty on this pursuit. Tannis C. Leonardi, 10-27-2018. So yes, there's, I, I did not, this was actually interestingly enough, um, at this point in time, the the, I did not necessarily, I accepted my typos as I went. 
it was about putting something down which is kind of like my handwritten stuff is like I'm writing in the flow but I don't go back to a paragraph and change something as I'm writing it handwritten and this document was the same it's about just putting words down so there's a bunch of like spelling typos but Max Born is somebody who um in a later thing I kind of yeah he's he's a cool dude and I highlight here so with Heisenberg specifically what I I absolutely adored about the man is also the type of mathematics I adored um that were like at, at a undergraduate level was uh matrix mechanics um matrix algebra that kind of stuff um so some people like linear algebra I'm more of a matrix girl and Werner Heisenberg is like a matrix guy so you're like ooh, we fell in love with matrices you know um not to be confused with science fiction movie the matrix no I'm talking about the mathematical construct of a matrix there's some really cool people who worked on matrices and did absolutely beautiful things with matrices and Werner Heisenberg was one of those um and he did uh matrix mechanics underpinning quantum mechanics but for Max Born it was quantum mechanics and lattice dynamics so yes I love me my minerals got my international prize in mineralogy too so there we go the autobiography exercise inspiration sometimes confuses me saturday 27 october 2018 coming back a few years later saturday 8 june 2024 to film this and i'm tans corley leonardo she her hers of seattle